Hey everyone, John Kay again. So uh, another quick update. We've now been running for just on 25 hours, so we've we've pulled about 15 amp hours out of our primary battery there. Still at uh, 0.6 of an amp. So uh, let's do a, a quick check. Um, so what I've been doing today is I've um, I've left the the, uh, the caps off them just so I can top up the acid when it gets a little bit below the plates. So you can see, um, if you can see this, this first cell here, is uh, that one's a little bit low so it needs a little bit of topping up. So it's kind of like these, these batteries as they charge up, they're, they're kind of sucking up the acid. I've had to top that up each day to keep them flooded. So let's uh, let's have a look at what each battery is sitting at. Uh, battery one is now at 13.75. Battery two is at 12.38. Battery three, 10.96. Battery four, 12.58. So if we have a look at this, I've been keeping a bit of a chart. So battery one, we started off before we started charging, about 1.2 volts. It's gone up to 13.29 and then 13.78. So it's it's continued to charge. Battery two started at 1.2. 12 hours ago or 13 hours ago, it was at 12.40. Now at 12.39, so it hasn't moved much. And in fact, dropped a little bit. Probably because the primary battery is, is starting to get a little bit low. Battery three, we started at four volts, uh, 11.49 after 12 hours, after 25 hours. We're down at 10.96, so that one there is interesting. Um, it's probably, the impedance is probably coming down on that battery, so that's why it's, it's dropped. And battery four, we started at 1.7 volts, uh, at 12 hours we're at 11.9 and we're now at 12.58, so that one's charging up as well. So, interesting to see um, which one of these batteries uh, do come back and which ones don't. And just a, a quick look at our primary battery. So it's starting to get a little bit low, it's at 12.1. Um, but we'll, we'll keep it running, I'll let it go overnight again and uh, I'll give you an update later. Cheers, thanks for watching, bye.